Hey, what is up, guys? For this question, I'm going to be solving leak code 1168, optimizing the water distribution in a village. And uh, essentially, for this question, we're given n houses in a village where we want to supply water for all the houses by either building wells and or laying the pipes for the water to go through. So for example here, we have this structure in a village where we have house one, house two, and house three. And the cost of laying a pipe between them is the edge between them, which in this case from one to two is a one, and from two to three is a one as well. And that's just for laying a pipe. But now where would, do we get the actual water from? Where we're given an array of wells here, and essentially for each entry in this well, maps to the cost of laying a well in the in the in the house so for house one the cost of laying a well would be one and for house two it would be two uh, which is the second index in this array and for house three it would be two as well and uh, obviously we need somewhere to lay down the well so that we can uh, get the water from uh, otherwise there wouldn't be any water to flow throughout the village so this is a pretty tough question initially and um, it makes sense to refresh on uh, union find and minimum spanning tree and uh, essentially that's the approach I'm going to take for this question and the way it's going to work is uh, the tricky part is actually figuring out where to place the well and the way to simplify this question really is um, to pretend like the well is really just a part of the village so in this question where we have the structure like so an edge here the of cost of one an edge here of cost of one for laying the pipes we're gonna really pretend that the water that we can uh, get to these using the wells is actually just an additional edge, uh, sorry, just an additional vertex, really. So we're going to have a, another vertex here, let's call it zero, which is going to give us the water. And using the wells array, we know the cost from uh, one would be just one, and the cost from two would be two, and we're getting this from the wells array that we're passed in, and the cost from three would also be two. So now it's almost like we just have a graph, and we want to find the minimum total cost to supply water to all houses. So if this sounds familiar, it's uh, essentially just going through the graph and getting, and really just getting the minimal total cost to uh, iterate the entire graph, really. So in this example, uh, we're going to start with the edges that cost lower initially, essentially doing a minimum spanning tree. And the way that works is it goes through each edge uh, in order going through the lowest costs one first. So for example, we're going to go and pick this one first with a cost of one. And so far the cost is going to be one. And then we're going to go ahead and pick this in the cost of one. We could have also picked this. It doesn't really matter. So let's just say we're going to pick this initially. So now we have another cost of one. And in this case, we have an edge of one left. Uh, so we can go ahead and pick that. So now we have a cost of one. And how do we know that we uh, we shouldn't add the rest of the edges? Because if we, uh, let's say we go ahead and pick this edge. Well, now we have a cycle from this to this and from this to this and then from here to here. So this is how we know we shouldn't include this, include this edge because the, uh, the way the minimum spanning tree works is we want to avoid cycles uh, since we just need to include the minimum amount that would get us through each node in the graph. And that works out to be the answer here, which is equal to three. So how are we going to actually solve this using union find here? Let me just reset this. So initially, the way we're going to solve it is, uh, like I said, we're going to create a new quote unquote fake uh, vertex where the value is the corresponding to the value in the wells array. So this is going to be one and we'll just call it zero. And from two is going to be two. And from three, it's also going to be two and the rest were just one uh, coming from this pipes array. So what we're going to do is we're going to initially populate an array with all of these and with all this information. And the structure for it is going to be cost for the first element. It's a 2D array where each array inside of it is going to look like this cost. And the uh, house one and house two. And what this means is uh, for each element here, this is the cost it takes uh, to get us from house one to house two, like to get water flowing from house one to house two. So in the, this example, it's going to look like this. I'm just going in any order here. So it's going to be one to get to do zero from house zero to house one and uh, another one from house one to house two 
and another one from house uh, two to three and then two from house zero to house two and another two from house zero to house three so then what we're going to actually do is sort this array uh, based on the first index which is the cost because we want to return the minimal total cost to supply water to all the houses so we want to iterate this array using that uh, in this case like it's already sorted because i just wrote it down in order but if you were to populate this array and it turns out not sorted this is where we would need to run the sort algorithm the sort function i mean okay so now using this array essentially what we're going to do is have a union find uh, functions here as well to pair with this and the reason it's going to work is we're going to use that to build out the edges that we were talking about earlier uh, to avoid having a cycle union find is going to help us in that so when we go through each element in this array we're going to do a union on the house houses so house one and house two and the way we're going to interpret the return function or the, the return value from this function is if this union succeeds that means we've laid out an edge between those houses so in this case starting with zero and one when we do a union here and it returns true that means we've laid out an edge here and then we're going to go through each each and every one of them uh, and do the same thing and when this function returns true we're going to actually add the cost to a result variable that we're going to return in the end that's essentially how it's going to look like so when we run union on one and two we're going to return true and the reason we're going to return true is essentially there is no cycle yet so we're going to return true here when we do this edge and let's just say we didn't have any other edge and we're, we're going to do union zero and two here and the reason this is going to return false is in the union find when we find and uh, when we do union zero and two have zero here that's the parent for node one and node two from this edge here that we've connected to one and we have the parent of node two to be zero as well so now we have zero's parent being zero and two's parent being zero so that's how we know that there's a cycle here and we shouldn't add this and then the union function is actually just going to return false and we're not going to add it here so that's uh, essentially how to solve that question at a high level well let's quickly go over, go over the co part uh so like we discussed we're going to use a union find approach so we're going to need the union and find functions um, and i'm just going to go ahead and write the boilerplate for those uh, let me just start with the find first and if this doesn't make sense then i'll uh, link a video that i highly suggest for watching uh by union find that's going to be much better at explaining it compared to if I tried to explain union find in detail. Uh, so essentially we have a parents array and that's going to be initially the index of each house. So it's just going to be zero, one, two, three. And we did an M plus one here to add the vertex zero, which is the like, quote unquote fake vertex that we're going to add. And the rank for each one of them is just going to be zero. And for the union, we're just going to do the boilerplate that we always do. So we want to find the root parent for the first tab for x, for y. And if they're the same, that means there's a there would be a cycle. So we want to just return false, since we don't want to do a union here. Otherwise, we return true. And we set the parent based on the rank. Okay, so this is the boilerplate for union and find that we're going to use for this question. And now what we want to do is build out the array that we're going to use uh, to call this union method. Initially, it's just going to be empty. And let's just start with populating the wells. So we're going to do by range. And this is essentially the cost from house at index i to the fake vertex that we're going to create. So we want to first append the cost. It's going to be the 
entry here. Then the fake vertex is zero. And then I plus one for the actual house. So at uh, I is equal to zero, it's going to cost one to get us from zero to I plus one, which is one. And now we're going to do the same for the pipes array. So it's going to be house one, house two, cost. And this is where we're just going to sort by the first element, which is the cost. And now we just iterate the array. And add up the cost if this union succeeds. And just simply return this result. And I believe that should be it for this question. And we just need braces here. Uh, open and closing brace. We can append this as a, an array. And we need the same thing here as well. Oh, we see small minor issues that I forget to do. But now it should work as expected. And yeah, hopefully that made sense. Thank you for watching.